Alrighty then. So, uh, what we're going to be doing is, this is a, kind of an unboxing of this Ryobi 9 inch bandsaw. And uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go over the marketing splooge that's all over this box, but I'm going to put a date code in the subtitles to how far you want to if you want to skip all this if you this kind of stuff irritates you and you're an impatient internet jockey um, so let's look at some of this marketing splooge that they've got all over here uh, we'll start with that it has a powerful oh by the way all this stuff on here I, I don't give it I don't care about I didn't buy any of this because of all this this stuff uh, why did I buy it? Well, my choices were a Ryobi 9-inch bandsaw for $129 from Home Depot or some unknown brand of 9-inch bandsaw for $135 from Harbor Freight. And that's about all that was available locally. Uh, I could have ordered something else, but whatever. So, uh... Let's go over the marketing splooge. Um, powerful induction motor. I bet you that 90% of the people who are going to buy this have no idea what an induction motor is and whether or not it really is powerful. Precision cast aluminum table. Well, I hope so. Rapid set blade tension system. I don't know what that is. I have a feeling it's this knob on the top. Ooh, fancy name for something that isn't fancy. But we'll find out for certain. Uh, what else is on here? Well, let's just set this thing up. So you can read it a little bit. Oh boy. And she's not lying. Alright. So... Let's see here. Nine inch bandsaw. Good. We have a description. Powerful 2.5 amp induction motor. Once again, extra information nobody cares about. Independent upper and lower blade guides for improved accuracy. Ooh. Or what I would call normal things that a bandsaw should have. Precision cast aluminum table. Tilts from 0 to 45 degrees. Uh, adjustable sliding miter gauge. Rack and pinion blade guide adjustment. Ooh. Blade tracking view window. Rapid set, trademark, blade tension quick release for easy blade changing. Micro adjustment blade tensioning knob. Ooh. Precision aluminum interior blade wheels to minimize vibration. 9 inch throat capacity and increased 3 and 5 eighths maximum cutting height. Yippee. Uh, somewhere on here it says something about uh, having pro features. Um, basically what they would call Pro features are what you would expect to find on any bandsaw. If your bandsaw doesn't have pretty much all the features that this thing talks about, it's not a bandsaw, it's a piece of crap. Um, and I don't even know if uh, anybody even sells something like that. So, do we have anything else on here? Includes one. BS904G bandsaw, miter gauge, blade hex key, saw table and hardware, switch key, and operator's manual. Um, yeah, it does come with a blade. Uh, and then there's a handy little diagrams with numbers of what each thing is so that your average clueless Joe would be able to uh, not pay attention to any of this. 
so I'm going to uh, pause the video and get this so we can it can be open. Alright. Oh, and uh, country of origin is China. So, you know, kind of doesn't matter which one you buy. It's all coming from China. So, first thing we find in the box is an instruction manual and the key, which I will put in the in its slot and never remove the table. Allen wrenches. some kind of lever, enough styrofoam to choke a horse, and the bandsaw. So now I'm going to pull that out. It's all wrapped up in uh, plastic. Okay, so, as you can see, I put the table on here. Uh, basically, to do that, you remove this wing nut and this little piece here, which will probably get lost. Uh, this is the miter gauge. It's made of the highest quality plastic. Um, so, the way this thing goes on, is you this lever that we pulled out you take this table and you kind of tilt it in onto this and then you have to adjust this nut here and basically the way you want to do that is uh, loosen this and then screw this up and then rotate this knob until this is level and this reads zero and then you tighten this down um, so let's see uh, next thing I have to do is set the tension on the on the blade so I gotta figure out how to do that and uh, I'll okay. be back um, well first thing is the blade in mine was completely off so took a little bit to uh, get that taken care of. This is the quick change lever. You and by the way, this stuff is not there's it tells you how to do it in the manual, but there's nothing that says, oh look, there's instructions here. Eh. Um so you would move this lever to quickly change the blade. Tension is set with this lever. Uh this is for blade tracking, which mine seems to be fine. I think these are for blade tracking uh, okay um, so my blade was stuck in here there's some some guides in here it's really hard to see uh, mine was kinda jammed in there but it took a bit to get the tension right and to get the uh, the blade on there uh, but now, seems to be working. Uh, setting the tension on the blade is uh, just silly. Doesn't really give you anything to go on other than as you're setting it, you should pluck this like a guitar and that you want it tight but not too tight. Whatever that means. So, uh, you may notice that my Ryobi comes with this absolutely horrid shade of green, but I have 
uh, I brought an up I bought an upgrade or have an upgrade kit some nice plain gray and uh, I'm going to just paint mine the that horrible green to gray so uh, that's about it it's all set up um, there's a lock on the back here and then you control the up and down and then lock it um, I could show you cutting wood and stuff but I it can, you know uh, I did buy a set of So there's a, on the back here, you can uh, raise and lower this, and then lock it in place. Uh, I bought a set of generic bandsaw blades that says it will fit most 9 and 10 inch bandsaws. Uh, it contains three blades, a couple of wood a wood in general purpose cutting blades and one metal blade um, um, kinda difficult to find Home Depot is uh, lately there they they don't carry a large selection of stuff you actually need it's all uh, it's like you have to really search for stuff uh, the other day I was looking for some parts for a uh, welder. I was looking for the grounding clamp, which they used to carry, and they don't anymore. They used to carry uh, welding wire. They don't anymore. Uh, now they just carry a couple of welders, um, some basic welding equipment, goggles, um, self-darkening, face masks and gloves and some other things but that's about it they're really I don't know I'm getting irritating anyways um, that's it for this hey look at that doesn't make me want to slip my wrist almost looks like it's a some kind of professional equipment Huh?